Hi, hey y'all. Welcome back to Rails for Resources. So, I just want to have a quick talk with y'all. We're going to talk about some what's in the news, uh, some things that have been going on here. Did y'all hear about the teenager who shot his stepdad for uh, asking him to do the dishes? Now, that somebody, some there was a shooting amongst neighbors. I think one neighbor told the other neighbor, like, hey, can you turn the music down or something like that? Neighbor started pow, pow, pow on everybody. Um, uh, recently a teenager was shot at the wrong house. Um, a drunk driver hit a bride and groom, killed the groom on that wedding night. It's just the world is chaotic now. And that's why I said I would have to, I'm going to take a break from all social media because I'm tired of seeing it. Every day, something is going on. People have unresolved trauma. People got anger issues. People are, I'm just going to say it. It seems demonic almost. Like, what in the world is going on? Uber driver uh, went to deliver food. The man killed him cut up his body what in the world is going on at this point i'm almost uh getting to the point where I, i'm i'm feeling agoraphobia i'm it's getting to the point where i'm about to be agoraphobic and let me tell y'all every day can't get out and just go on about your business you got other people out here reckless you could be a safe driver you could Obey the law, other stuff. People coming out here doing what they want to do. Um, the other day, I'm obeying the traffic. A man pulled up beside me. He got road rage. Starts cursing me out. I'm yielding for the car to come on down. This man just whips around me, starts cursing me out, goes around. And I'm just like, the world is not safe. People are walking around just losing it. They have no patience. They have rage. They are filled with anger. And I don't know what to do. I, I've been encouraging people like, hey, you need to go talk to a professional about this because little things are setting you off in a big way. You're explosive. I'm encouraging people to get help. I'm partnering with companies to say, hey, go uh, get some help. They, they're giving a discount. They're affordable. Go get some help. People just angry about the smallest things. No patience. Uh, these kids are addicted to these phones. I, I watched the other video. Um, I, I told a student, hey, um, please give me your phone because you can't have your phone during this testing session. They were doing some type of um, standardized testing. And the girl had her phone out just playing on her phone. And I said, no, um, you can't have your phone now. Go ahead and give it to me. And the reason why I said give it to me and I'll give it back to you at the end of the day, one, is because as soon as I turn my back, what, what, if you've been working in the classroom, what would that student have done? Taking that phone right back out. So I said, no, go ahead and just give it to me and I'll give it back to you at the end of the day. Y'all, the girl, she, you're not getting my phone. You're not getting my phone. I, I already was having a rough day with that student anyway. Because she was bullying another girl. The other girl was just crying in tears. Um, and it was just a mess. Like that same girl, she was problematic all day. Everybody else is in their chairs. She wants to sit on the floor. I'm like, hey, get up. Um, everybody needs to be in their seats. Um, this and the other. Not hearing it. So the classrooms are chaotic. Teachers are leaving in droves. Um, substitutes. They, we don't want to be bothered with it. We get paid lower than teachers do. So now we're like, mm -mm, get somebody else to do it. So um, these kids are out of hand. Parents, I know some parents are trying, but still, kids still have no remorse for anything. They have um, no, no respect for their parents, no respect for their teachers, defiant, doing what they want to do. Uh, no thought about consequences. I don't know. The, the word is very scary now. What are your thoughts? Y'all comment down below.